hello everybody welcome back again and thank you for clicking to watch this video but if this is your first time if you're new here hello welcome my name is lillian and today in this video we are going to the ashanti region of ghana in search of the sea mama the mama that had the ghanaian woman that have claimed that um she is the biological mother of nollywood actress mercy johnson okoje so today we are going to kumasi uh sorry i have to get to kumasi before going to that part of the region i mean that part of ghana where mama lives in so you are welcome to my city my favorite city in the world right now is accra all right so in case you're new to my channel and you don't understand what i usually do here i live in ghana and i share my experiences here in ghana on youtube so but this video is different from the rest because this is um one of those important stories that we are telling because a lot of people are watching both the international communities in fact a lot of people are interested in this story because these are real life issues like you know when it concerns a mother and child it's you know it's very practical so this issue came up and i saw a video by a nigerian youtuber talking about it so he actually made made me understand the story better i decided i decided to dive into it to give my take because i'm a mother and i live in in ghana i'm a nigerian so i felt like issues like this that people are looking down on sometimes you just need a little bit of investigation everything will be sorted everybody will be happy so little did i know that when i talk about it a lady was going to step forth to want to get you know answers if this can be her mother so guys i set out to go but a day before today like this trip i already called the um, the people that brought the story where they said they are the you know the real people where you they use this their videos to react to the mama story so they said I caught them, letting them know that I was coming. But unfortunately, I'm in Kumasi, but their phone is switched off. They're off their phone. Zurück nach Haus, ja. Yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen, zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen. Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West. Komm, halt dich an mir fest. At this point i was supposed to be stranded right i caught somebody and then somebody caught somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that know mama mama's village so he hooked me up with one of the persons that knows the village and that person is coming to the hotel this morning to pick me up so we can go all right so all fingers crossed um this morning i'm going to take you guys through the dense populated city of kumasi just show you be uh, a little bit of her beauty the places i never knew existed in kumasi so we are passing through there so this happened to be the longest night of my life as a matter of fact i was anxious i was anxious but because god has revealed to me my dreams like that i was going to see mama so i wasn't bothered all that bothered me was the fact that i needed to get this done quickly 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 because it's beginning to look like a whole like a joke and i don't want that so let us go and get these answers so first thing like i said you're welcome to the dense populated city of kumasi by the time we got to this part i was able to film but see this is just a pinch of sort of what kumasi looks like that place is absolutely beautiful very uh, populated yet very gentle i don't know how you guys manage your lives like that all right so let's go to mama's village 
I heard that from Kumasi uh, here to Mama's village is about three to four hours. All right, so and the roads are not favorable at all. So I was warned already ahead of time to know what to expect. But come on, I'm a Nigerian. I know these things now. And I come from Ugocha, Ukele to be precise, where the road network is the poorest in the world. So I don't think there's anything more than that that we'll get on this trip. So let's keep going. Don't go nowhere. Because in this video, I'm going to be showing Mama the pictures of Messi, um, surname with hell. And then I'm also going to ask her a few things that Messi have asked me. The one that is public, of course, I mean, I'm going to make it public. The one that is um, private, I'm keeping it private. I'll be meeting Mama's family and all that and explain myself, which I didn't prepare for. But there's nothing to prepare because my story, they legit, they legitimate. I mean, like, there's nothing to say. I want to go and think and come. I brought it out. What? So at about this time, the people that said that switch off the phone, their phones were on. I don't know why. So all of a sudden, they texted me, they called me, they, they sent me a lot of missed calls and phone uh, messages, text messages, telling me to relax. That they will, they have contacted Mama. They have told her that one day they will tell me. They will decide a date that will come. I said okay. I didn't even want them to know I was on my way. I was afraid though, I won't lie, you, you get it. I know Ghanaians are friendly and we just wake up and just, you know, team together and hurt you. But then at the same time, I don't know what I will get because I, what the argument on the phone the uh, other time wasn't nice at all. So I became like afraid. Maybe they will use the police to lock me up or something. So I, I, I told... <laughs> Oh God. So let us go. But he was assuring me that this is my brother here that someone hooked me up with to go with me assured me that I shouldn't be afraid that their people are very nice people. So let us go and see if we can bring this baby home. All right. Keep on watching. Okay. The reason I'm taking you guys all through this is not because of anything. But yeah, in this type of situation, you prove a point. You don't say, oh, you don't have to prove to anyone. I prove to everyone. I prove to you, my darlings. I prove to the future. And I prove to the person that sent me, even though she believes me. Even if I don't film a single video on this trip. If I tell Messi, if I, by, by this time, we already, she already, we talked. She have thanked me like a million times, even before the video would drop. So she believed me, but uh, let's do this, okay? Let's do this. So let's keep going. Travel with me while I play you some nice, cool, beautiful music. Let's go. prepared myself well for this trip because there's nothing to do about it because whatever information I have given here or that I have to give to them is not something it's not a brain work it's just something that is real and all I need to do is present it when I get there but I didn't prepare myself enough because I thought maybe I just meet mama and her eldest uh, maybe her king's men and her daughter but getting there I had to meet uh, meet with the king the chief of the whole community 
which uh, <laughs> I was, you know, I started to feel nervous, you know, like, oh my God, I didn't know it was going to be this big deal, you know, big of a deal, me having to, you know, talk to someone who is very open-minded as well. The people I met there were incredible. Mama has a good family, okay? She has people that really, truly care about her. That is a matter of fact. So these pictures that they said Mama has of Mercy, baby Mercy, I am very interested in it because that is the biggest evidence for me to send back to my mercy to see if that could, you know, could be her as a child. No matter how grown you are, no matter how old you are, there's possibility of you remembering some things as a child. At least if the age of five and above, you should be able to remember a lot of things about yourselves. I mean, about yourself, including how you looked as a child. If you look at your photograph, you can tell how you look, if that is you or not. And also to check out Mama, because I, I told you guys in that video that Mama and Mercy looks alike in my eyes. So I wanted this confirmation to be as practical as possible by showing the people around her um, to also look. And by showing Mama, maybe maybe an instinct, something, something, you know, that would just, you know, make her feel like, oh, this is, this is the child I'm looking for, this is the girl and all that. So we are still traveling. This place is far. I'm sorry I could edit all this part and throw them away. But no, let's do this for the future. Let's do this for all of us, okay? In this video, I am proving a point. I'm sorry. All right? The point is for all of us to be taken along and um, for no one to be left behind. Because let's go as real as it is, as it has getting. Let us go. I was told I'm almost there. By this point, I was told I'm almost there and I was I became so anxious. All right, finally made it to the village and um, asking around to see how we can find Mama was not uh, stressful at all. Obviously, Mama is now a Vara sens sensation. That is where English is a session. <laughs> so Mama is now popular in her community because, but I told my partner, the, the person I went with, the best people to ask, all these guys with smartphones, social media users, they may have seen the story and that they will be the fastest to take us to Mama. We're right though. I saw one nice guy, I said, let's ask because he has a phone and he said, oh, okay, we just explained to him and he's taking us to somebody. He took us to somebody where somebody took us to another person. And that other person turned out to be one of the people, I mean, the, the office of the people that brought the story. So finally, they brought me to meet Mama. Here I am, preparing to do my exclusive interview with Mama, asking her some of these questions that people have suggested I ask, and also to ask her questions from my head. Just what I think I should have done if I was in her shoes and all that. So, and then this is me meeting with the the head, the king's men of mama king's men and then the other people that um, brought the story in the first place and also the king the this is the king here on black he is mama's family member so i was very particular about this picture of baby mercy unfortunately mama said she gave the video the picture to someone many years ago to help her check to help her ask, to help her, you know, maybe go to Nigeria, go to Liberia and ask if there is any trace to see if she can reunite, if she can find her children. So along the line, the person died. So Mama never got her that picture. She don't know how to get the picture. So she doesn't have a picture of baby Mercy. Contrary to what the whole internet is saying that she have, she showed picture evidence of baby Mercy and all that. So Mama does not have baby mercy's picture just so you will know and here is me explaining to the king's men and to the king and also to mama and also to the other people that brought the story and to my partner who went with me so explaining to them everything that mercy have told me about herself and also um putting private things i don't want to come on here for you guys to see Except, I don't know, if someone was secretly recording me to put it out there, I can't tell. But um, this is me giving the king every uh, detail of what I know, how a lady contacted me. And then I 
didn't just do that i showed him all right i showed him everything i gave him the name the full name of mercy uh i showed them the full name of mercy all right and then i sh um we asked mama we showed mama the picture if this could be her daughter and also i showed the king Messi's messages uh, to me and also my responses and all that showed them the picture and a lot of things okay so that is what we are doing here so right now mama said um, her daughter was going home to get pictures and bring so i am hopeful that those pictures you know comes maybe there's a picture of Messi. so mama does not have by the time her daughter left and returned mama does not have a picture of any any picture of any of her kids like young babies including this lady seated seated next to mama that's mama's uh baby last born this is supposed to be Messi's uh, younger sister because mama has uh, four kids and the man took two of them and ran away to liberia living out with this one and the others uh the good thing is mama um she have a good family she have people that truly genuinely care about her so they they look after her it's not like they are very well you know but she have good people in her life her kids look after her very well like they show her i like the way they love her they love their mother so they support her very well so um you know i didn't know that mama uh, the pictures were coming what they're bringing here is pictures of mama you in her youthful age you know when she was a young girl and also pictures of um this her daughter this her last baby here you know all the beautiful pictures she took you know that is what we have here so by this time my job here is done all i have to do now is go back and give the fit give the information that mama had given me to mercy and then i'll leave mercy to decide if this is her mother or not and if she wants to proceed for a DNA test, Mama can do that, all right? So if Mama, I mean, uh, I mean, Mercy is up, absolutely up to Mercy. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Субтитры